If your child is starting to become restless and make you restless also then he she has for sure got more time that is sufficient for him per. And now you are considering after school activities. After school activities means the activities that will keep him her busy for some life-saving hours. Almost all the after-school activities can be classified broadly as, society-oriented, educational and recreational. The very first one generally comes in when the child can voice his her own interests and also is a bit grown already. Furthering the knowledge of your child is the main aim of the educational activities. His her memory, his understanding and also his general awareness are targeted and he she is given a very large number of various different techniques that will help him her in improving either one of these or simply all of these. Programs like the speed mathematics and intensive memory training are educational after school activities. Also there are present some academic programs that will for sure go over the homework of your child and also the class work and will help your child gain a lot of in-depth knowledge in all the various subjects. Therefore the academic programs do really have a definite edge over the games and fun, especially if the parents think that their own child has a lot of catching up to do. The recreational activities include games and sports, painting, fine arts and many more. Here the main thrust is just to have a lot of fun. This is also true that as the child climbs up the ladder the classes do become more and more competitive. A very large number of various different sports competitions, events article search, stage performances etc. are also held in order to encourage the child. When we make a comparison between the merits of the all two types of activities then it is clearly found that the recreational programs are much better. First of all the children will never enjoy learning unless they themselves feel curious. Almost all the various different academic programs are just the standardized courses and all of them are not too flexible. They have very well laid out and a general purpose methodology. After spending a number of hours at the school the child might feel a lot bored. Any further study can very easily overwhelm him per and make him feel very much irritated and also a lot frustrated. Here there is even a possibility of burnout. After school safety tips and reminders. When parents send their children for after-school programs, they take it for granted that the child is safe. But since the number of children participating in these activities has increased, it is necessary to look into safety issues. Children are vulnerable when they are outside the classes. While going or returning, they should know the safest route to take. Many kids hang out with their friends just after these classes. Find out, danger zones, from your neighbors and make the children aware of these. The child has to know how to handle emergencies. It is better to discuss various scenarios with your child. Tell her what she should do in case the class is suddenly cancelled. Show her the first aid kit at home and make sure she knows whom to call in an emergency. Post any important contact information in a place that is easily accessible to the child. If the child will be alone at home, discuss a few unexpected things with her. Tell her to use the safety chain always. Relay on your neighbors and friends when needed. Let your child know who can be contacted at times of emergency. Ask your child to check in by phone. Above all, always tell the child to be in a group. Visiting toilets all alone or going home via isolated streets must be avoided. A home-based after-school program. So, your son's school does not offer any extracurricular activities. You are worried of depriving your child of all that extra knowledge and fun. What should you do? After school activities need not be taught in a school-like environment by professional teachers in a structured and timely manner. There is a lot you can do to support your child's academic, physical and social development. Do not be too concerned about formal programs, as many of our children are already overscheduled. Obviously, school is top priority for children. They need to go to school, and finish their homework. They should then do their daily reading or writing work etc. This may take about 30 to 60 minutes. In the course of his daily work, your child may develop certain academic preferences and interests. In that case, you can try and find a program in a college or a community center that will help him and encourage him. In the age of the internet, information is really not a rarity. Allow him to use the net to find more information about thing that he likes. Encouraging the child to do independent research to gain in-depth knowledge is something that no formal program does. 
If you are concerned about the lack of social life, enroll him or her in a club, a reading club maybe. Visit public libraries or even the theater, if your child is interested. It is not necessary for your child to make friends with children his own age. A parent-child book club is another interesting option. If you can round up a number of like-minded children and their parents, you may well start your own after-school program. When there is no organized group activity, look to your community. Many children love to get involved in social problems. They get their first real taste of suffering, charity and community help from such experiences. Volunteering for cleanup sessions, adult education programs etc. could be a real eye-opener for your child. The lessons thus learned are invaluable. If physical activity or the lack of it is your major concern, enroll your child for some dancing classes. If organized sports are impossible to get, try to enroll her in a gym. She may find friends there and may take to the treadmill. Your child does not necessarily have to be a part of an organized group to from after-school activities. There are various avenues open in front of you. Roping in the enthusiasm of your children in daily household activities like cooking, cleaning etc. can also provide them with a refreshing extracurricular experience. Moreover, it will improve family ties too. Developmental after-school programs. As a child grows into an adult, different aspects of his physical, emotional and mental self needs development. To help a child reach his full potential, it is necessary to recognize the child's developmental needs and abilities. To be effective, after-school programs should assist children with tasks they must accomplish during each stage of development. A child's growth curve can be divided into three main parts. 1. Young child, ages 3 to 5. 2. Middle school, ages 6 to 8. 3. Older school, ages 9 to 12. The four important domains of development are, the physical domain, the social domain, the emotional domain and the intellectual domain. Each of these domains needs to be separately addressed during the various phases of a child's growth. After-school programs should concentrate on developing each domain as applicable to the age of the child. Although the children participating in these programs may have similar developmental needs and age, do not expect development to be uniform. Children will develop as and when they are ready. Physical domain. When children are young, they want to perfect skills that they have just learned to control. A variety of movements such as jumping, catching and throwing delight them. The middle school child, on the other hand, wants to learn more complex skills and get involved in team sports. This is also the best time to learn about rules and discipline in sport. The older school child is ready for more adult-like activities that need greater structure and discipline, like dancing, gymnastics, music classes etc. Social domain. Young children are observing others and will be interested in games where they play the roles of family members. They develop short-term friendships and need an adult's presence to assure them. The middle school child is intrigued by society and will love trips to factories, public buildings etc. They want to know the, how, and, why, of things. The older school child is ready to learn about different cultures, food and customs. They want to do some amount of social work too. Intellectual domain. Young school children will practice what they are learning. Middle school children want to learn more skills and will show interest in reading, drama and problem solving. The older school children are ready to research and probe. They enjoy getting a puzzle and pondering over it. Any after-school program needs to address the interests of the child depending on the category he belongs to. Knowing the children in your program and appreciating their needs and interests will help staff to plan and structure programs that are most useful to that group. Recreational after-school programs. After-school programs can be divided into three broad categories, academic, recreational and social. Balanced development takes place when there is compatibility between the physical, mental as well as the educational achievements of the child. As the name suggests recreational after-school programs are based on a sport or recreation. Some of the more common physical activities include football, swimming and basketball. Some clubs offer programs like gymnastics, trekking and hiking. In this case, youngsters are often given a short class in first aid class also. 
recreational after-school programs offer children an opportunity to let off some steam and to de-stress themselves. The closed classroom atmosphere and a day full of textbooks and writing cause the child to repress his natural enthusiasm. He curbs his energy when he is required to sit quietly in class and learn. Physical activity is an all-time low during such times. This physical lethargy and inaction is countermanded by recreational activities. Growing concerns of obesity and child diabetes make it necessary for children to indulge in some strenuous exercises that will allow them to work up some sweat. Unlike educational programs, recreational programs do not tax the mental processes. But, they do aid the learning process by making the child more active. A child who is physically active is mentally fit, and is able to focus his thoughts on the work at hand. Additionally, recreational programs teach discipline, mechanics of teamwork and fair play. These are important lessons in the growing process. As more and more nuclear families emerge, the child faces greater isolation. Many children shuttle between their classroom and their bedrooms and do not have any meaningful relationships outside these. Recreational programs offer ample avenues for socialization. This is a place the child can go to and play even when his neighbor is not the most welcoming. The boy-girl scout programs are excellent recreational after-school programs. Lately, survival classes and camps have devised to combine important survival skills with sports and games to educate children on how to handle emergencies. Like any good after-school program, recreational programs are designed to give children a safe area where they can indulge in some group activities that interest them. This is one of the most effective ways to keep kids out of the streets and out of trouble. But, one has to be careful when enrolling children for recreational classes. The age of the child, his temperament and his physical caliber has to be taken into account before you choose the right program for your child. Overscheduling kids. Several studies are expressing a growing concern that after-school programs are pressurizing kids to do too much too soon. They point out that when a child's afternoon is filled with classes, trips, sports and other forms of organized activities, kids do not really get the time to be just kids. They are even being deprived of the cherished family time. Undoubtedly, there are children who are being burdened with a schedule that places too much demand on their time. This leads to increased levels of stress on the child and the family. As regular studies cannot be ignored, children are almost always on the run to achieve more. Such children are really bearing a burden that is too heavy for their frail little shoulders. In an ideal world, all children would go home directly after school to loving and caring parents who are waiting for the children to come home. But the social and economic realities show that many children have to attend after school courses because there is no one available at home. For such children, these classes are a boon. Parents should however restrain themselves from reading too much into these activities. After-school programs are complementary in nature. They give additional support. Therefore, their importance should also be limited.